In this video, we are going to learn about supplementary angles. Now, supplementary angles are two angles that have to add up to 180 degrees. The two angles do not have to be touching each other or adjacent in order to be supplementary. Here would be one example. If I had one angle that was 100 degrees, and another angle over here that was 80 degrees, these two angles are supplementary angles because they add to 180 degrees. Another way of saying that would be to say that these two angles are supplements of each other because they add to 180 degrees. It's just another variation of the word supplementary. Two angles can be supplementary or and two angles are supplements of each other. There's one common place that you will see supplementary angles, and that is when you have a straight line. You might remember that a straight angle is 180 degrees. So this line, if you think of it as a straight angle, is 180 degrees. So if I were to divide this line into two parts, the two angles that would be created are, have to be supplementary. So for example, I could draw a ray right here, and I've now divided this angle, the straight angle, into two smaller angles. And even though I don't know how big or small these angles are, I don't know the exact measurement, I know that they have to be supplementary because they make that straight line. And that's something that you're going to need to remember throughout the year in geometry. Anytime you see a straight line that's been divided into two parts, those two angles have to add up to 180 degrees. They have to be supplementary. The last thing that I want to point out is in the definition of supplementary angles, it says it has to be two angles. So if I were to divide this line into a third angle here, these three angles do add up to 180 degrees. However, they are not supplementary because by definition, supplementary angles have to be only two angles.